Hello and welcome to the channel. Today, I'm excited to share my experience of riding in a self-driving car in the vibrant city of Guangzhou Nansha. If you reside in the Greater Bay Area, including cities like Hong Kong, Guangzhou, or Shenzhen, and have a curiosity for the future of transportation, this is an adventure you won't want to miss. As far as I know, the service operates within a specific area centered around Guangzhou Nansha, so your journey is limited to this region. Additionally, settling the bill is a breeze using WeChat or Alipay after enjoying the service. Personally, I've covered over 250 kilometers, and this self-driving commute has seamlessly become a part of my daily routine in Nansha. To get started, simply download the Pony AI app from the iOS app store, create an account, and you're ready to summon a self-driving taxi. Let the exploration begin. Within the Pony AI service, you can choose between a standard self-driving taxi with a safety driver or opt for the more advanced L4 level self-driving car. Today, I'm thrilled to guide you through the unique experience of an L4 self-driving car. Similar to most popular ride-hailing apps, you can effortlessly select your pickup and destination points on the map to create your ride. Keep in mind that due to the limited number of cars in Nansha, there might be a brief wait of up to 15 minutes for the self-driving car to arrive. Once inside the car, ensure you fasten your seatbelt before embarking on the journey, as the car won't start without it. Enter the last four digits of your phone number, hit the button on the screen, and the ride begins. Witness the car smoothly accelerating, initiating an incredible journey. Feel secure in the car, with an array of sensors providing a comprehensive view of your surroundings. The primary sensor, the lighter on top of the car, detects obstacles, people, and vehicles within hundreds of meters. Alongside the LiDAR, numerous cameras capture images from different angles. As the car navigates the road, it autonomously makes decisions, avoiding random lane changes and connecting to a smart cyber city system in real time. This connection allows the car to be aware of traffic lights and real-time road conditions, enabling optimal path planning. The comfort within the car is notable, thanks to the cautious, polite, and smart driver. Unlike human drivers, self-driving cars accelerate smoothly, reaching a maximum speed of 60 kilometers h when traffic permits. With a 360 degree detection range from hundreds of meters away, the car proactively slows down in the face of potential dangers. After a short ride, you'll reach your destination. Before exiting the car, the rear camera activates, aiding you in avoiding pedestrians on the street. Conveniently, payment can be handled later on your smartphone. In my experience, Riding in a self-driving taxi provides a comfortable and safe journey. Unlike some traditional ride-hailing experiences, there's no risk of encountering erratic lane changes or forceful acceleration. With no human driver on board, there's also the added benefit of enjoying your own music without any unwanted surprises. Thanks for tuning in, and I hope you thoroughly enjoy your journey in Guangzhou and the fascinating experience of riding in a self-driving taxi.